Matt Pocock, who is an incredible TypeScript wizard with a great YouTube channel, has claimed to have fixed TypeScript. And to be honest, he's kind of right. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And today I wanna to talk about the TS Reset Library. Now the whole idea behind this library is to change around and reset some of the base types in TypeScript and the base behaviors of TypeScript make them a little bit more intuitive and most importantly, quite a bit stricter, which makes it harder to introduce bugs into your code. Pretty much the main thing that TS Reset does, at least in my opinion, is it removes a bunch of any's that get added into your code by TypeScript automatically, which can make your code a little bit more error prone and more difficult to keep track of and debug as time goes on. Now, if you wanna learn more about why Matt actually created this library, I'll link his video on it in the cards and description down below. And honestly, his channel is just great for any TypeScript content. So if you wanna learn more about TypeScript, definitely go check his channel out. But the whole idea behind this library, like I mentioned, is to make TypeScript a little bit stricter and a little bit more intuitive. So one thing that it fixes right away is the use of JSON. So if you use json.parse, or if you have a fetch request and you just have a dot then in here and you do res, whoops, res.json, the return type of both of these is going to give you an object with the return type of any, because it doesn't know what your JSON is. It just knows that it could be anything. But this is a bit of a problem because when you have a value of any in TypeScript, you can do anything you want with it. For example, in our code here, you can see this JSON object clearly has just one property, which is a name. And I'm trying to say something else. I'm just saying JSON.something, which is clearly a property that does not exist. So I should make sure I have type checking in place to make sure that this dot something property exists. And that's one of the things that his library can do. So if you want to use this library, all you need to do is make sure you install it. So what we can do is we can just say npm i, and we can just save this as a dev dependency, and it's going to be at total dash typescript slash ts reset, just like that. That's going to install this, and then all we need to do is import it. So you can see if we just copy this line over and we import this to any of our files, you're going to notice immediately JSON has now been typed as unknown. And the unknown type in JavaScript, it just says that this object, it doesn't know what it can be, so it has absolutely no properties defined on it. So no matter what you do, it's going to give you an error unless you check to see if that thing exists. So in our case, what we could do here is I could just come in here and I could just say if JSON or type of JSON is equal to an object, we make sure to check that the something property, whoops, something property is inside of our JSON object as well. Then if we put this code inside of here, we're gonna notice that we still get one more error right here because I just need to make sure that this thing exists essentially, it could be null. So I just make sure JSON is not equal to null. And then I do a quick save. You're gonna notice now we're not getting any errors at all. So really this is forcing me to be much more strict by making sure this thing is an object, it's not null, and it has this specific property that I'm trying to check. And you'll notice I no longer get errors. If I try to check for another property, you're gonna notice the error comes back because now it's saying it doesn't know if it has this property or not. Now this is just one of the many things that this library does by default. And really when you use this library, it's recommended that you create a separate file here just called the reset.d.ts. And this is where you put your import. That way it's going to be imported into all your different files and you don't have to worry about. It. You can see everything is still working the same as it did before. And also with this, you can actually import only specific things. So let's say here, I only wanted to import the fix for JSON. Well, I can just do slash JSON parse. And now it's only going to import that particular fix and nothing else. The only thing you need to consider when you do this is inside your TS config, you need to be using node next here or node 16 is your module version. Otherwise it's not going to work properly when you do this type of import of importing only one single thing at a time. That's the only thing you have to watch out for. So in our case, we're only doing the JSON parse fix and nothing else. And if we come in here, you can see that there's actually a bunch of different options. By default, it uses the recommended one, which currently just essentially enables everything, but you can see we can enable or disable only certain things that we want. Now, I'm not gonna cover all of the different things inside of this library, because it's going to be constantly changing and getting updated, but I will look at another one because this actually solves a different problem. And this one is the filter boolean. So you notice immediately when I import just this, all of this code now no longer returns unknown and it returns any, which is the default because I'm not importing that JSON parse. But if we look at this, what happens if I have an array here and I want to only get the truthy values, essentially the non-null values. So I can just say I have an array which is equal to one, two, three, and we'll just put null inside of here. Now let's say I just want to get the truthy values. Well, I can really easily doing that by just saying truthy here is going to be equal to array 
dot filter, and I can say Boolean just like this. It's just essentially just going to call this Boolean method by passing in each value in my array, and if it's a truthy value, it's going to be returned. Now you'll notice if I highlight over this, you can see it's changed the type of my array to a number array, while my original array here is a number or null array, because obviously there are null values inside of here. This is very intuitive and makes sense because if I'm filtering out all of those null values, obviously it should return to me a non-null array, as you can see here. But if we don't have this enabled, for example, I just comment this one line out and I come back over here, you now notice this array can contain numbers or null, even though with this filter here, it's literally impossible for it to contain null. This is just, again, another nice quality of life feature where TypeScript should be smart enough to know that when I write this code, that this array right here no longer contains null values, but it's not smart enough to do that by default, and you need this reset to be able to handle that specific scenario. Now, the final thing I wanna cover, I'm just going to copy this code over here real quick into our main file that we're working with. And inside of this code, if I just break it up a little bit here, you'll notice that we have an array of numbers and we've actually set it as a constant value here. So we're just saying that this array of numbers can't change. It's just always going to be one, two, three. And if I highlight this, you can see the type is just one, two, three, super easy read only array. Now you'll notice if I try to call the includes method here, the include method expects a value of one, two, or three, because obviously my array has the values one, two, or three, so it expects me to only pass those values to includes. But oftentimes what happens if I have a user input, which I'm simulating here with this input, and I wanna check to see if their input is included in this array that is a constant value. Well, right now it throws me an error because it's saying, hey, this is returning to me a number, and I don't know if that number is one, two, or three, so it's not going to work. This just is kind of counterintuitive and doesn't really make sense. So inside of the reset here, we also have a way to fix this. So I can just come in here and I can say array slash and let's do includes. And now if I save, come over here, you'll notice that error is no longer there because this is now not actually expecting it to be a specific number of one, two, or three, but instead is just expecting it to be a number in general. So now this is working just fine. There are actually many different instances of this actually having a problem. So as you can see inside of here, if we just look, you can see we have the index of, we have includes, we have down here map has and set has. They all work very similar to array includes and they solve the exact same problem of obviously I don't want to just check to see if this has the number one, two or three because I already know that's going to be true. I want to be able to check to see if what I'm checking against is contained in that array. So this is going to help you solve that problem. And really that sums up everything about this library. It just helps you solve really small problems and helps you make your TypeScript a little bit more secure and a little bit more user friendly with things like this includes method. Now, eventually, I really hope that TypeScript would add in some configuration options where you can maybe enable some of this by default inside of your TS config. But until that happens, all you need to do is just download this library if you want to start using some of these, and you can enable only the ones you want or enable all of them if you really want to be super strict. And with that said, if you want to learn more about this or really just deep dive in TypeScript in general, I highly recommend checking out Matt Pocock's channel. I'm going to link it right over here, as well as the video that he talks about this TS reset in. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.